What's going on guys? Charles Botenston here. Obviously, uh, happy Monday. We went live for the first time yesterday uh, in a while, so I do apologize. It's been too much time in between each take, and obviously, I know you guys, well, you probably don't miss me at all, so I'm not really going to get into that. Unless you do, then I thank you for being that kind of person that likes to miss Charles when he goes live and answers your questions. And I know Chris L's out there because he gets the uh, notification every single time. And ironically enough, it was, you know, kind of yesterday is exactly what I'm going to be talking about today, which is life is a sum of all the days, okay? You're gonna have bad days, you're gonna have bad months, you're gonna have bad weekends, you're gonna have bad quarters or bad years. You're gonna get into a situation that you wanna get out of immediately. And the difference is that you have a decision, okay? Life comes down to decisions. It's the micro habits, it's the micro decisions where you go one of two ways, okay? Say you have a string of bad days. And the example came up yesterday, which is I said, listen, I went six months without really going out, kind of putting health number one, which is good, putting my business number two, which is good. Family was right in there mixed in, but I was really sidelining relationships and that was kind of one of the things that I really wanted to get back into my life. So I said, okay, this week, that's what I'm gonna focus on. So I went out on Monday, I had some dates on Tuesday, had some dates on Thursday and things like that. Met someone out on Friday. And what I noticed is that I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. But at least it wasn't a try, I tested it. I did it, okay? That's the difference. You know, a lot of people, and I just wanted to make sure that it's all good. A lot of people, they, as Gary Vaynerchuk talks about, they say they have an opinion, but they're not a practitioner. They didn't, they didn't actually do it. Okay, that's the difference. If you say, I wanna start a business, I wanna start a blog, I love photography, buy the camera, buy the domain name, go out and start doing your side hustle, okay? There's a difference, okay? Once we get into it, and, and it's funny, I'm gonna throw out an, another statistic. Around five years ago, I, I, one of my buddies sent me this, uh, this article and it said at age 32, you're kinda of locked in and you listen to the same music from age 32 to the end of your life. And it doesn't really change. And I started thinking about it, I said, wow, I wonder why that is. Because typically at that time, vast majority of the people, they're in the same job, they're in the same house, they have the same spouse, and that's all they do. That's all they do. You know, they have that same monotonous routine. Okay, I'm gonna be talking about that this week on Instagram where the monotonous, actually it's gonna be next week, the monotonous, meaningless routine is not fun, it's not joyful. That, that's, not, that's not why we're here. We're here to leave a mission, a legacy. So the thing is, once you hit a certain age and you start doing the same things, getting out of that rut is hard. We already know that. But the problem is, a lot of people think this is how it is, this is how it's always going to be. That mindset where you take 32 years old and you literally compound it to the end of your life, you literally just say, this is how it, this is, how it is, this is how it always will be, why am I gonna change? Why am I gonna do something different? Why am I gonna test it, Charles? You're talking about testing these things. It's easy for you to say you're a single guy. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. Test going to the gym. Test doing the side hustle. Test stand-up comedy. It doesn't really matter. It's really, you have one of two options. And I'll, and I'll bring up another example is that you say, okay, this is for me. I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna do it because my life is a sum of all the days, not just my past days, or this isn't for me and I'm just gonna keep on doing the exact same thing and bitch and complain and, and just go through social media and, and, and talk about the good old days. You know, the people that go to a reunion and they're like, this is great, I remember in high school, I remember in college, what are you up to? Uh, well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm busy, I'm busy. That's what everyone says, I'm busy. <laughs> what, doing what? What are, you, what are you busy doing? Tell me, I'm interested. I'm, I'm literally, I'm just on the edge of my seat. So it's funny, I've talked about this story before and I'll, I'll end it right here, which is my manager came to me, he had high hopes for me, this is a manager when I was at Halstead Property, what was it, five, six years ago? He came to me, I got hired, I had a desk and he had high hopes for me and he said, hey listen, you know, um, this is what we expect from you and fast forward six months, I wasn't meeting those expectations. He calls me back into the office. He said, listen, I hired you. I thought you were gonna be doing a lot better. You're gonna be sharing this desk with this woman that nobody liked in the office. So we're literally sharing a desk, a desk. We're sharing a desk. That's insane. So 
Fast forward to the end of the conversation. He said, you have to do this amount of money, which was $184,000 from today to the end of the year, which is in six months. Six months doing $184,000 in business. I've never cumulatively in three years done that amount of business. So I said, all right, it was a July day. I'll never forget it. I walk outside, it was hot as hell. I had my suit over my jet, uh, shoulder and I just was in such a daze. People were happy, they were excited, it was beautiful out. I can't wait to do this. It's just, and I'm just literally walking down the street like, oh my God. You know, I had no money. I was, I was, I was in an all right relationship at the time. And it was, it was at that time where I just remember thinking like, is this what I want to do? You know, I'm seeing other people do things and that was the decision. You make it, literally you go right and you literally say, yes, this is for me. This is what I want to do. And you fucking do it. And you do it. The other decision is, you know what, this isn't right for me. Uh, my manager's right to do 184,000. I've never even conceived of that number. I don't, I don't think I should do that number. And then you go right and you get out of the industry and you get into nine to five and then you get into that monotonous routine thinking, this is how it is. This is how it will always be. The other is, this is how it is. I don't like how it is. I'm going to do the minor things, which is for me, working a little bit longer, coming in on weekends, not drinking as much, saving more money, reaching out to more people, being more proactive, doing video, doing social, doing more emails, doing more calls, and then doing that. All right. So just consider your life a sum of all the days. And I'll leave it with Seneca because I'm going to be writing about that on a, on a social post. He says, most people think that life is short. He goes, life is long. It's just lived short. It's lived short. They think it's short, but they just fill their life with meaningless bullshit all the time. And they think they're busy. They're doing something. They're productive. On BPI Live, which I'm going to be going live in a minute, I'm going to be talking about a productivity hack that I've actually talked about here, which is time blocking, time chunking. Just consider your day and you break it up in ways that you want to do it and not what someone else wants you to do it. So hope you have a great day. If this is the first time watching the video, subscribe, leave your comments below. Obviously I'm going to be going not live, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit more professional right here, uploading it. You guys let me know. Obviously this is your channel. Uh, I'm just the, the curator for all the content, all the things that I hear and test out and things like that. And I tell you what's the best ways to do things. Have an awesome day. Talk to you.